For May 21st, 2011, this is a special News Undies report. No apocalypse. Yes, Harold Camping, head of the family radio outfit in Sacramento, California, has been going on and on and on for about a year now about how today would be Judgment Day. And it's guaranteed by the Bible. Yes, well, he made a similar claim back in 1994, and of course, that didn't exactly pan out. But this time, much like Bullwinkle J. Moose, for sure. Well, is it actually happening? I guess that's the real question. Here's a series of unseen reports by our various unseen reporters. Take it away. Well, it's Judgment Day, and uh, it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon here on the East Coast of the United States, and, uh, well, here in Groton, Connecticut, there's really uh, what you might call nothing happening. Reporting live from Groton, Connecticut, I'm Paul Torville for News Undies. Well, here it is Judgment Day, and as you can see, there really isn't a whole lot of, uh, there isn't a whole lot of judging going on. No tsunami. No tsunami, no earthquake, no flooding. I don't even know why I'm standing ankle deep in water. Anyway, this is it. Standing ankle deep in water for some reason. I'm Paul Torville for News Undies. Well, here it is, Judgment Day, and there doesn't seem to be a great deal of, you know, judging going on. Uh, traffic continues to pass, flights continue to arrive and depart. Uh, no earthquakes or tsunami. It's not raining, burning sulfur or anything like that. Uh, don't know what to tell you. Standing in front of an airport for some reason, I'm Paul Torville for News Undies. Well, here it is Judgment Day, and as the appointed hour grows closer for this time zone, there's no news of anything strange happening in any of the previous uh, time zones across the world that have already, uh, you know, six o'clock has come and gone sort of a thing. Um, church here looks like an ordinary Saturday service, no big deal. Uh, still no earthquakes or flaming sulfur from the sky or anything like that. I'm not feeling judged. Anyhow, we'll keep you posted. Standing in front of a church for some reason, I'm Paul Torville for News on Days. As the beautiful spring day wore on, commerce continued unabated. It seemed as though nobody was actually concerned that they might be raptured at any moment. As you can see, traffic still flows, people are still buying and selling things. It's like any other day. My goodness. Thanks, me. Well, I guess that raises the question. Is this whole God-Bible-Apocalypse thing objectively demonstrable? Like, real? Or is it all bullshit? Personally? <laughs> I'm leaning toward bullshit. <laughs>